five books, five authors, all nominated for one of this country's most prestigious literary awards. Here's a sneak peek at what those authors reveal about themselves, their work, and what this honor means to them. I was researching uh, con games, swindles, and the golden era of the, the con artist. I came across a reference to 419, which is the email scams. We all get them. I am the son of an exiled diplomat. I need your help to get move millions of dollars out of Nigeria, for example, or the Ukraine, or Russia. And 419 is an email scam. So I thought, but there was a footnote, and it said, 419 is the modern variation of the Spanish prisoner con, which goes back 500 years. Now that stopped me. My book is about helping, and it's about people who reach out to others in crisis, and they don't always succeed, but I think my thought in telling these stories about helping was that there's always value in the attempt. Those attempts to reach out and communicate with other people, those moments of empathy and connection are when we're at our most human. The name of my book is Rue, and it's called Rue because I was lazy. <laughs> I had a restaurant which was called Rue de Nam. And rue means uh, a small stream in French, but the word rue in Vietnamese means a lullaby. I just took one part from the past and sent it to a new future or a new present. My book's called Whirl Away, and originally in my head the idea was that it was sort of like dervishes um, that spin and spin and spin and spin until they're basically out of control. The characters all have uh, a skill or a talent that they depend on. Eventually, that skill fails them. The thing they depend on falls away, and they whirl away trying to make it work, trying to make what has already failed into, into what they've always depended on. It was a really hard book to write. It's set in my own childhood. It was a very difficult topic. It was dealing with the after effects of the Second World War and how that played out in the community I grew up in. To figure out how to show the various perspectives on it and the various truths. And every sentence was hard earned. And by the end, it, it began to flow. But that was because of editing and reworking. So it was a very hard book to write. I'm very excited to be on the list, to be part of the conversation about Canadian literature and fiction and to see my name included among other writers that I really admire. It feels very uh, like a real privilege. It is a delight being on the shortlist. I think it would change what I do and, and where I do it. Are my parents proud? In the Vietnamese culture, we don't say, we don't have an expression where you say, I'm proud of you. Uh, they never express that, so no. <laughs> the press conference was at a quarter to 11, and I knew it was a quarter to 11, and by 10 to 11, I hadn't received a phone call, so I thought, okay, I didn't make it, that's fine. So I started washing my floor, and, you know, I'm on my hands and knees, and the phone rings, and it's my agent, and he said, you made it. So I was really thrilled. Well, the Giller's great. It's, this is wonderful. It gives a, a second uh, breath to the novel, and, uh, and you get a good dinner out of it, as I understand. They are going to give me dinner, right? The winner of tonight's award, the biggest prize in Canadian literature. Join Gian Gamechi for the 2012 Scotiabank Giller Prize. Nine Tuesday on CBC.